What's the real reason for BitBoy's sudden departure from the BitBoy Crypto YouTube channel? Welcome back, everybody. I'm sure that some of you noticed there was no clip yesterday. That's right. I just randomly took the day off. Anyways, but we are back today. And it looks like it was a good idea to take that time off because, of course, like always in this space, there's all kinds of crap that's happening. And the latest, the, the latest insanity, surprising, to be honest, um, and some people in the community would suggest that it was long overdue. Anyways, uh, let's dive into the story. Ben, BitBoy Armstrong booted from YouTube brand he created. BitBoy Crypto has parted ways with Ben Armstrong. The company today confirmed via Twitter that it removed the high-profile crypto influencer from the brand. Yesterday, BJ Investment Holdings, the parent company of Hit Network, okay, so people understand how this works, which I'll show you after what the brands are, but essentially BJ Investment Holdings owns the Hit Network and Hit Network owns the BitBoy Crypto YouTube channel you know, to make it simple for people. The parent company of Hit Network took a decisive legal action in removing Ben Armstrong from the company. So here's the tweet itself. Yesterday, BJ Investment Holdings, the parent company of Hit Network, took decisive legal action in removing Ben Armstrong from the company and specifically the BitBoy crypto brand. The difficult decision is a culmination of prolonged effort to help Ben during his relapse into substance abuse, as well as reconcile the emotional, physical, and financial damage he has done to the employees of Hit Network and the BitBoy crypto community. The Bit Squad deserves better, and we are going to get through this together. We wish him the best and regret that it has come to this and are hopeful for the future of BitBoy crypto. Hit Network is a creator-driven media network. It works with a myriad of brands to provide entertainment and education around cryptocurrency, entrepreneurship, gaming, music, and sports. BitBoy Crypto is not only one of the top brands, it's, it's the only top brand anyways, under Hit Network's umbrella, but it's the most popular as per the official website. Yeah, it's to be perfectly honest, it's the only one actually um, worth anything, which we're, we're going to take a look after. Uh, essentially, it's Hit Network's entire entire revenue structure works uh, off of BitBoy Crypto. Anyways, uh, let's continue on. Hit Network CEO TJ Shedd made a statement about the dismissal on a YouTube live stream this morning, which we will go and check out in a second because I I do I do find it strange. Now, people who watch this channel know that I am not a fan of BitBoy. Uh, specifically not, not him personally, but the stuff that he shills, right? We always have to, you know, as much as people want to pretend that like, oh, you're attacking the person. It's like, no, it's a person's actions, right? That, that, that's what it is. We have to separate the person from the actions. So it's the actions that they do that are problematic. The person themselves, like all of us are flawed, right? And we're all just learning, but we all don't have to choose actions, which intentionally hurt other people under the guise of, you know, investment or, uh, you know, under the guise of, I don't know, some other bullshit that, you know, makes you feel good about scamming people or essentially fools yourself into scamming people. Anyways. Okay. Let's, let's continue. TJ Shedd, the CEO added that the removal is also to help reconcile the emotional, physical, and financial damage Armstrong has done to the employees of hit network and the BitBoy crypto community, which I just read to you guys in, in that tweet. The BenCoin Twitter account today replied to the news in a post it claims was written by Armstrong, though it's yet unclear if the influencer indeed wrote the message. This is Ben. TJ Shedd and Justin Williams have attempted a coup at my company, just confirming what is going around. It's true. There has been a mutiny at BitBoy Crypto and Hit Network, but it won't work. They have no leverage until they can clone me I have nothing to worry about. The news prompted a flurry of mixed reactions from the crypto community across various social media platforms. Armstrong is currently tied up in a class action lawsuit along with several other celebrities for allegedly promoting now defunct crypto exchange FTX. After the suit was filed, the attorney representing the plaintiffs accused Armstrong of harassment, saying he made daily violent threats by phone and email. 
So here's the hit network and here is their brands. All right. Or here are their brands. So here's the first one, right? BitBoy Crypto, you know, 3.3 million in, in terms of, you know, I guess in terms of audience reach, then you've got Frankie Candles, which is uh, technical trading and essentially TA 87,000. BitLab Academy offers courses and customized content designed by our best writers, researchers, and content developers to help you step towards the successful with all things crypto. <laughs> what? Anyways, 35,000 people around the blockchain. The ultimate show for crypto and blockchain enthusiasts, 19,000. Hit Network. Um, I thought that this was the Hit Network. Anyways, 164,000. Uh, blockchain basement. Uh, tune in for insightful and engaging content of the cutting edge of the digital economy. Um, yeah, seven thousand. And hit network gaming. Fifteen thousand. All right, then you have the the players lounge, which never heard of this one, but it looks like this is some type of an NFT shilling platform to connect the uh, professional players and their uh, and and their fans. Crypto busy. 325,000. Wow, look at that. Crypto Busy is your resource for getting up to date crypto news. All right, so another more I mean pretty much it's all just it's all just shitcoin news, right? It's all just kind of shitcoin news that that feeds itself and then the the hit merch website 779. Okay. Anyways, um but my point is is that really the whole entire hit network hinges completely on BitBoy Crypto um on, on that channel. So I, I just want to point that out. I know they try to make it sound like it's this big, you know, thriving, growing platform. It's it's really just BitBoy Crypto and a whole bunch of um, little side projects that are hoping to kind of uh, ride the wave of the one really popular channel that they have. And again, I'm not judging that. I'm just saying that's what it is. Now, let's go take a look at the the major announcement from from the BitBoy Crypto channel. So here is the uh, here's the the BitBoy Crypto channel, and um, now it's being essentially hosted by it looks like the 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 other two partners, right? Um, TJ and Justin. Um, I'm, I'm I'm assuming that this is Justin. I don't really know much about these guys. I've always only seen BitBoy, um, but anyways, uh, let's let's take a listen to this message that they gave about uh, BitBoy's departure. Hello. Yesterday, BJ Investment Holdings, the parent company of Hit Network, took decisive legal action in removing Ben Armstrong from the company, and specifically the BitBoy Crypto brand. This is a difficult decision, is a culmination of a prolonged effort to help Ben during his relapse into substance abuse, as well as reconcile the emotional, physical, and financial damage he has done to the employees of Hit Network and the BitBoy Crypto community. The Bit Squad deserves better, and we're going to get through this together. We wish him the best and regret that it has come to this, and are hopeful for the future of of BitBoy Crypto. Hit Network is committed to empowering creators and we will continue to do that every day. Thank you. Thanks, TJ. You guys just heard that. I heard that too. A um, couple of things. So one of the one of the reasons supposedly um, that he was um, let go or removed uh, was because of his, as you heard, his, his relapse into drugs. Now, I, I don't know if that's true or not. And of course I am not, you know, this clip isn't about judging BitBoy or anything like that for, for those things. We're, we're sticking to the actual situation at hand. And um, that really, to me, seems like they're kicking him when he's down, right? Like, regardless of how I feel about the, the shitcoin shilling or the fact that he's wrecked so many noobs, the, the point is, is that I, you know, I, I believe he's probably been more instrumental in, in building up that channel and its fan base. And it it's just, I just find it really strange that it's like, hey, you probably need the most help you need now. So why don't we take away your, you know, it's like, why don't we take away your livelihood and ostracize you so that you can get better? That, that to me is really what it seems like. Um, and that's awful. That is absolutely awful. Um, so I can see where Ben believes that this is a coup against him. Now, um, the other thing is, you know, another way that we can look at this is, is that, you know, this, um, BitBoy crypto channel provides, uh, revenue and provides salaries 
for a lot of people, right? And those salaries may be in jeopardy due to, um, you know, Ben's recent type of behavior, um, supposedly. So, right, these, these guys, you know, were trying to protect their income, right? Now, now the other thing is this. Okay, so if, let's back up, right? In the last, in the last few months, um, BitBoy himself has shilled Pepe, okay, which has sank like a stone. Um, he shilled Bencoin, which also has sank like a stone. Um, I mean, from the beginning of time that I've known him, he's been shilling XRP, um, which is really interesting because he, he talks about talks about the SEC and how much he hates Gary Gensler, and at the same time, you're you're shilling like a total corporate token. So that's anyways, that that's neither here nor there. But, but the point is this, right? The point is this, these guys, you know, as much as we can, as much as I could sit there and, and judge and make fun. Okay. They do have a massive audience and they have a way to capture eyeballs. So what if this is just, what if this is fake? What if this is all just to create massive hype for some new thing that they're going to drop? It's possible, right? It's very possible. So yeah, I don't think that this is so cut and dry. Um, I don't think that we should just assume that what we're seeing is real. Um, quite often, I, I'm one of the first people to say, we're watching a show, you know, like you're watching actors play their part. Um, you know, just last week, BitBoy was moving his, his whole, the, the whole show supposedly to Dubai or spending more and more time in Dubai. So where did that go? You know, what was going on with that? I think that there's a lot of um, unanswered questions. I think that I, I don't, my personal opinion is that this isn't real. Um, I think we're going to find out that this was all just a, a hoax to uh, essentially garner more attention. You can watch the show without being heavily involved. Okay. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to watch the show. We're going to see how this plays out. And we're going to report on it. Um, if it is true, if it is true that he that he was kicked out of his own company, I do think that that's absolutely awful, um, regardless of what the reasons were. Um, I, I do I do think that um, pretending to help somebody when they're down by kicking them when they're down is just weird and narcissistic. Um, anyways. <laughs> I, I, I hope that that's, I, I really do hope that for him anyways, I, I hope that this is all just a, a big show to, to garner attention. Um, because if it's not, then he is truly wrecked. Um, and, and don't get me wrong. The other side of it is, is that, Hey, look, he has shilled, um, and not just him, let's be honest, the BitBoy crypto channel, right? Anybody who's involved in it, they've been shilling absolute trash for years. Okay. So to a certain extent, you know, maybe, maybe this channel got what was coming to it. So anyways, guys, what do you think? You know, like, I, I don't really know what to think. Um, I, I personally, I, you know, I'm not a supporter of that channel. I'm not a supporter of the shitcoin shilling. So for me, I'm just like, yeah, well, we don't need any more shitcoin shills. And one less, one less shitcoin shill isn't really that bad. <laughs> so anyways, let me know what you guys think. That is the end of our clip for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Help us fight the evil YouTube algorithm. And I will catch you guys all tomorrow.